Hi guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create simple surveys using SurveyMonkey. So here we are in SurveyMonkey. And if you don't know what SurveyMonkey is, it is already obvious from the name. It is a tool that is used to create surveys. And I think it's a really great tool as it offers a lot of functionality and it, it has literally everything that you need to create a survey. Right here, as you can see, it, you can get access to survey templates and speak to customers, employees, and your target audience. You can choose from expert read and sample questions to include in your surveys. You can score your surveys to estimate their success rates with uh, Survey Monkey Genius and so on. You have your AIs exploring your best practices for creating the even the most sophistic sophisticated surveys right here. So you can do this right here. And you can also watch this video if you want so that you can have a better idea on what Survey Monkey is. And now let's now go and sign in into Survey Monkey. But if you don't have an account, then you can go sign up for free by clicking on it right here but before we do this you can see the plans right here so you can just go for individual advantage and as you can see this is currently set on pesos but you can go and convert this into us dollar and i think this is about 23 dollars if it is converted to us dollars right here and this one would be around 19 dollars and this one is around uh, 40 dollars right here so yeah it's basically that then you can just view your prices so that you can see it in your own currency and now let's go and sign up for free right here and from here what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna go and connect our Google account right here so that you won't have to go to the trouble of verifying your email and so on so we're just gonna click on Google right here so now as you can see we now have set successfully signed in using our Google account and now we can now uh, agree to the terms so that we can proceed and this one is optional right here and click on next and now here we are in SurveyMonkey and as you can see your Google account isn't linked to a SurveyMonkey account so you can just go create a new account right here when you are linked with its choices and then from here as you can see this will be the welcome page and so on right here We'll just be taking this right here. And now here we are in SurveyMonkey. And as you can see, we have uh, successfully logged in and signed up on our account right here. So as you can see, we have six features right here, which is to start from scratch, pick a popular template, build with AI, a copy and paste from a document, use proven research methods, and build a target audience right here. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go here in the pick a popular template right here. And from here, you can see the vast a library of templates right here that SurveyMonkey has to offer, but most of them are paid templates, just like this one right here. And as you can see, it says here paid template. And in order for you to use this template, you would need to pay for this one or you need to subscribe to a plan right here on the subscriptions on SurveyMonkey. And when you click on this one right here, as you can see, it is saying that it is a paid template. So you would need to uh, pay for this one. And we're just gonna close this. And, and yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just giving you an idea right here on the templates of SurveyMonkey. You have a lot here. You even have categories, your plan type right here. Or you can just go for free templates. You can click here so that you can see all the free templates that you can use right here. And as you can see, we have it right here. And for example, right here, we have the free template called uh, Scheduling Poll. You can choose this right here and as you can see you don't have any paid template assigned right here which means you can use this for free and you can click on use this template so that now you can use your template and you can just easily edit your uh, your questions right here and you can add a new question right here and you can just go and edit this if you want to you can click on edit and from here you can edit the question you can add an answer right here option one two three four if you want to remove this option you can click here right there and yeah that is basically it right here but we're not going to be dwelling that much into editing this one right here in this template because we're going to be starting from scratch so let's go back since you now know how to do the template right here how to access the templates and so on so we're just going to be going back into the server monkey right here so right here we're going to be clicking on start from scratch because we're just going to be uh 
making two different questions right here just for an example right here so basically what you will see in this one the steps that you will see in this will be used on the templates right here so you can also use them and then for the question number one let's say is what is let's just ask a math question so five plus five right there and you can see we have a choice right here on which one we want our answers to be provided. So if you want checkboxes, multiple choice, drop down, and so on. And with this question, I think the most appropriate one would be multiple choice. But you can also use others right here. You can even use a slider right here. You can go for a left side value to a 100 right here. And you, when you click on save, this is how it would look like. You can just move the slider right here but yeah we can't move it yet because we are here in the editing page but you can also do that but in my case i'll just go for a multiple choice since this one is the most appropriate and then i can go for multiple choice right here and then i'm gonna go and enable this and enter a choice right here so let's say 10 and this one is 12 and this one is 18 and just like that and if you want to add more you can always click on the plus button right here and you can also go for reverse answer order so that you can go and shuffle this and you can go for bulk answers right here if you want to add a answers in bulk right here so that you won't have a hard time and adding, adding them and you can also score this question if you are having a quiz like for example in your class then you can score this right here and you can just go as you can see when you score this you can place a check right here so that you can see which one is the correct one right here as you can see it's now in quiz mode so this one is the correct answer and then from there you can also add another option so for example maybe they have type uh so you would, maybe they have type other answers like for example they type 10 just like that then you can also do it right here just go and put the label right here others please specify and then you can go here for maybe when the answer is left blank display this as an error message then you can go here please enter a comment and then go for the size line of text or five 50 characters right here if you want to and validation is you want to make sure that it's uh you have some choices right here but i don't really need this right here so i'm just gonna go for don't validate this answer but you can also choose one of this option if this is what you need from your answers and also add in one of the above questions if the choices has no answers that is provided in the question right here so you can also do this right here so now that you know how to do this you can just click on save right there and let's add another one but this time let's do a different kind of question rate your math your math let's just type this math teacher right there and we're gonna go for a star rating if you'd want and you can also go for a slider if you would want that but in my case i'll just go for a star rating because i think that is uh cool right here star rating and then you can go for scale of 10 stars and the shape is star right here you can go for thumb or you can go for a heart i think i'll just go for thumb and i can choose the color of red right there and it can also go for add rating labels so for uh one thumb rating is you can go for uh bad maybe bad uh slightly bad bad and average good good or maybe slightly good slightly good and good right here Oh, this one is yeah I think this is enough right here and I'm just gonna go and change this to five because I only have five labels right here but this is this label is only optional if you want to and you can also add an other answer if you want to so if you want them to comment on your uh, on this one right here aside from rating you then you can also do this right here and you want to click on save right there so now we are done with our samples right here so from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here we can edit this button right here you can go for i am done right there and click on save 
as you can see it is now customized right there and you can even change the color of this one right here previous button next button and so on so yeah it depends on what you want right here and from here you can hide this filter because you are not in the premium plan and now if you want to test your survey you want to click here on preview survey right there and now let's answer this and try they can go for 10 and as you can see we have this option right here because we have selected this and rate your teacher right here and you can also go for specify right here and let's just do it right this one and no let's go for 10 this one and click on i am done right there and as you can see it is correct right here and the uh, rating was submitted to the creator right here and you, you will be seeing it maybe in your mail or something like that and then now we are done with testing this i'm gonna go next click on next right here and yeah that is basically how you test it and now you can send service your way or you can target your ideal respondents you can buy respondents from survey monkey so they will do the marketing for you you don't have to do some invitations to other people because they will be the ones sending your uh, survey and have your have their people test it out and depending on your ideal respondents you can do this or you can just do it yourself right here and by the way i this is also an, a very important uh feature right here so let's just go back to design survey right here and you can click here on add collaborators if you are not the only one that is working on this uh, survey right here then you can add this one right here but as you can see you would need a plan for this one if you want other people to help you right here on this survey and let's go back to the collect responses right here so yeah that is basically how you do it right here in collect responses depending on what you want or what you need let's go to analyze results right here so this one right here is as you can see i don't have any responses yet because i haven't sent this out to my uh, contacts or i haven't bought any respondents from survey monkey and so on but this is where you will see your stats and then the next one is you can add to dashboard if you would like this to be seen in your dashboard the the stats of this uh, survey right here and you can also save this right here so that you can just import it later on into other survey monkey accounts or into your account if you would like that or if you would have to uh, have a backup copy of this data right here and as you can see we have here on exports we have share data share your survey insights and so on right here but we're going to be going into percent results right here so as you can see we have our dashboard so you can showcase your results on the dash dashboard and tell a story with your data right here so click on new dashboard right here and basically we're going to be uh going to add a, a to dashboard right here new dashboard and create a title may name my dashboard right there great and just like that we now have uh, two questions added to my dashboard right there and that's it we have now successfully created a simple survey in survey monkey i hope this video helped you out